Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Nikon here and welcome back to Seeking Sovereign God. We are here with Lucia deep within the halls of Anselvund. At least that's how I imagine we say it. And we now know that these halls hold many necromancers, uh, but one in particular who wants to see us dead. However, Lucia ain't gonna have that. She is going to attempt to bring an end to this necromancer. The first of many on her path to Manos. If she can't do this, how can she be expected to end one of the greatest necromancers of her age? If not the greatest. No, we will soon find out if she is up to the task. So, without further ado, let's dive on in. Alright. I have to say, I'm absolutely loving uh, the nervous energy coming from everyone in the comments, because believe me, I am just as nervous as you. But that's why I'm enjoying this dungeon so much, because uh, it is very difficult in the Seeking Sovereign Guard playstyle, meaning that uh, one mistake, it is uh, over for us. And with us becoming more and more fatigued, this is not going to be easy. Obviously, Lucia does not feel safe sleeping in this space. And with all of these traps down the hallway here, we are going to have an interesting time. I also want to make sure... Because <laughs> this would be the real dick thing to do. I want to make sure that there are no dead that can be risen along the sides. Because um, that would be the classic Manos thing to do. Someone walking through a field of traps and uh, then... Uh, He just goes and uh, raises a whole heap of uh, dead to make things interesting. But I think as long as we watch where we place our feet through here, we should be fine. Obviously the roots have grown over a lot of the uh, the traps, but this is a very Temple of Doom right now. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see if the urns have anything. Um, we'll take it. Not that we use Magicka very much. Um, with Lucia becoming more and more of a witch hunter, I think we'll see ourselves using um, silver weapons and arrows much more often. But also, I think, you know, we'll try and enchant our stuff so that we are actually using poisons and stuff like that that will remove Magicka. Is that a person? Or is that just a rock? It looked like a guy with a long white beard in the distance there, but I think it's my mind playing tricks on me. You know how um, the human brain is meant to want to see faces in places where they aren't. I think that was one of those scenarios. But uh, I feel like we have successfully navigated this field of death for now. And there does seem to be a loot chest in there. A boss chest of sorts. Oh, I am uh, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous in here. Oh, a silver ring. I'm tempted to take it just because it's silver. I think I do want to try and get the mod for us to melt things down. Just with us not having the ability to use merchants, I feel like that is going to be more our thing. Well, you either desperately wanted to get in there or something of the like. However, unfortunately, and very frustrating, frustratingly, we uh, cannot open this because we don't have any lockpicks. Um, however, I imagine that might be the kind of place where we can get a key for, I hope. Either that, or we are able to find something along the way. Now, just making sure that, see, the, yeah, I mean, there's obviously quite a few traps around here. Let's just go straight through the center, nice and easy. Okay. Just watching our feet as we go. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Do you see the flames as well? I think he was triggering a trap through there. Now, here's what we do. I think I need to try and... Hmm. Hmm. Um, we just need to remember to run through correctly, because if we don't, if I get antsy and I miss that, we will be in serious trouble. Because I don't think there is anything in this hall to help us. Okay, here we go. Let's take our shot. Yes! We got him. Okay, right, Neil, we need to back up. And if anything does come through, we just need to hold our ground. Okay, 
error away. And we wait. She obviously... Oh, I think it died. She obviously has risen a number of her own lackeys. These poor... Draugr are serving this necromancer who's trying to return the soul of her lover to a new body. Okay, so we're wanting to use our instincts as much as possible. Like always. And just be very, very cautious. Because we have a sleep-deprived Lucia here. And that sounds like water, but I'm thinking it might be magical energy. Do we sense a disturbance in the force? Oh no, it's flames! Okay, so maybe someone is standing on the flames. And now I'm concerned because why is that there? The pool leather. Oh, okay, that's how you died. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to activate that chain. Okay. <laughs> Him being on the flames like that, though, makes us more visible, so... We just need to come back here. And just scope the place out. This is obviously a very big room. I think there being just two of them in here... Well, that might not be the thing. I'm thinking we probably have more to deal with, so... We need to be mindful of what's above us. And just stick to the sides. I think in Lucia's mind, she tries to, as much as possible, imagine herself as a rabbit, darting around a field. And above her, there are always eagles waiting to swoop down and eat her. Okay. Oh, there's two on there. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like a pressure plate. <laughs> do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? You know what? I think we could flick through it, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it where it is. I don't want to take it off that plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there would definitely be traps, right? Yeah. Okay, let's stay down here for now. Move along. We aren't going to be able to recover whatever's on them, but um, I'm okay with that. Look at this. Look at all these... Oh, God. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Um, what's on there? Is it anything actually worth us going for? Oh, there's so many of them. There are just so many. Okay, you know what? There might be something cool there, but what we're going to do is we're going to go around the top first. Uh, and make sure that the top is clear before we do anything dumb. Okay. Just like a mouse, like a rabbit. Oh, I hate, I hate, hate, hate not having any lockpicks. Apologies for wasting the last one. Oh, there's so many. Well, I hope that doesn't actually stop us here. It might. Oh, master, you're kidding me. There's got to be a key somewhere, right? Let's see, what... Oh, it is a key. It's a key. <laughs> now I want the key. We might be able to... We might be able to, like, shoot the key off from a distance. <laughs> I don't know. Let's search through the urn. Oh, a garnet. 
Wow, I feel like we need to search through these urns more often. Silver gun and ring. Yeah, I mean, we'll do a little bit of grave robbing. Okay, and we've got some other potions as well. Look like combat potions. Oh no, it's just wine. Well, we don't need that right now. Um, door? Mm, door. So it's not a cell that we're going through. And what about here? Expert. Mm. Do we open the door? Well, let's actually just go up to it and have a listen. Sounds okay. Oh. Oh. Hello. Nothing in here? No. Nothing for us. Okay. <laughs> so... Is that the way across? Did I somehow miss that? No, that's uh, that's through there, and so we, we need that key to progress. Oh god. No, oh no. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we're gonna put this right here. Oh, we can't? We can't put it here. Okay, alright, well we need to find somewhere good where we can put it. Um, well, we want to have line of sight, that's the thing. If we're tripping people up, we want to actually be able to make use of it and shoot them. So, if it was here, that would be great. But we don't seem to be able to place it here. Hmm. Okay, it's going to have to be right across the other side here. So it's kind of like a, uh, a backup. Hang on, am I, have I got this selected? It should be three, right? Tripwire, yes. Hmm. Ah, there we go. We finally placed it down. Uh, probably not in the best place ever, but, uh, mm, no. Let's see if we can replace that. There we go. That's going to be better. Uh, so we're going to come around the side here and see if we can shoot this off. Um, hmm, I haven't given myself a lot of room, have I? Well, we can make it work. Nope. Get it out. Okay. And what we need to try and do is just shoot them as fast as possible. If if we manage to knock this off. We've got 38 steel arrows left. What just happened then? Did that just go into the void? I'm pretty sure that just went into the void. Unfortunately, we don't really have any other projectiles. Um, so like, n hmm. we shouldn't be using steel arrows here. We should be using uh, stone arrows. Because they are the weakest. Okay, too high. Oh, you see that? We actually got it to move. So I think it's I think it's possible. Hmm. I know I'm gonna waste a few arrows, but oh, there we go. Okay. We shot it off there. It's not a pressure plate. So now it makes me wonder if it isn't a pressure plate, it's probably triggered. It's like an, a triggered event. Oh crap, where did it go? Don't tell me you just fell through the world, right? It's down there somewhere. It might just not be super visible. Okay, this is this is not great. Not super great, I'll be honest. Uh, okay, alright, let's get our steel arrows back. We are going to go back down. This is not good. Not good at all. Um, we might be able to kite them into the flame. Because what I think is when they get close, they will activate. And now that makes me upset that we might have boned ourselves by not being able to find the key. We are going to sneak. I will just straight up run if they uh, start to come out. Crap, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we just need to be ready to, to run as soon as we take it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yep, run, 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 run. Okay, let's use the flames as much as possible. I shall have oh. vengeance for the death of my husband. Rise! Come on. Th they've got no idea. Okay, get some of that stamina back. Okay, let's 
to make sure that none are coming that way. Just our friend there. In the back. Okay, I think we successfully did that. Okay. Is that all of them? I think so. Some neatly placed arrows. Alright, so... <laughs> we can breathe a little bit. Wheel of Pain Amulet? What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. I don't even know if I want to put that on. Wheel of Pain does not sound nice. Okay, the others don't have any crazy things. I don't know why I'm taking that bone meal though. Yeah, that is gonna... It's gonna get us down. The bone meal is gonna bone us. So let's just go down to uh, 10 for now. Um, damage stamina, yeah, not so important to us. There's nothing else around that. We'll take all of our... <laughs> all of our missed shots back. Um, I feel like that gave us a little bit more time though, to, to run away. But thankfully we were able to kind of get the distance away from them before they really knew what was happening. You know, all that uh, post-res post uh, grogginess. Okay. Alright. I think we are going to chuck a quick save in here. Just in the event that anything terrible happens, like uh, keys disappearing, <laughs> or anything of the like. But I think we are, I think we're done in this room. I do want to investigate that amulet a little closer though. I find it interesting that it doesn't have any effects associated with it. We might just put it on. That doesn't tell us it's doing anything different. Okay. We'll go put a buck moon back on. Increased movement speed. We can probably en enchant the wheel of pain. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Hmm. Big door up that way as well. So, question is, will it work on this door? It does. Yes, please. Okay. Weak aversion to shock. Okay. Yeah, we'll take we'll take some stuff. Alright. Thought there might have been a little candle pull mechanism thing there. I gotta remember that we can do that as well. Like, instead of running away, it probably would have been better for me to just use the uh, sneak rolls. Much more efficient. Because it's actually almost faster than sprinting. And obviously it keeps us hidden, so I just need to remember that we have it. Do you hear that? More work. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Have a listen. Safe for now. Let's just start going a little slower. Got some traps above? No. Okay, we can grab that torch. Is he by himself? Maybe. We have a clean shot, so. I think we ought to take it. I want to see if we can get to that first, though. I don't know, buddy. I don't think the sword is the best uh, tool for the job. There we go. Oh, why'd you stop? Well, I know you stopped then because you did, but. Where's your boss? I do like the that the other necromancers and things kind of uh, flocked to Skaven. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Let's see if we can search you. No, okay. So we do have another another necromancer or storm mage through there, and it looks like we might be able to thread the needle here a little bit. They seem to be doing something of a patrol, going backwards and forwards. 
So I think what we'll be able to do is get them on the way back. So once we see them walk past, we'll draw a bow. Fingers crossed. Damn it, no. Okay, so I need to be very, very onto it as soon as I see them. No yawning. Shoot. Well, that would have got their attention at the very least. Okay, they are the only person there. Let's be ready. Looks like they're going to come down this way. No stamina. Oh, in the head, but not good enough. Oh, detected. Crap. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Come on. Oh, okay, good enough. I just need to make sure that's not over time. Okay, no, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're burning a little bit, but right. We can manage that. And actually, we will manage that with our own healing. Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. What little restoration skill we have. Okay, so obviously you can see the arrows, they do not do as much once we've been discovered, once they kind of know the directions that they're coming from, but uh, still, I think there was an arrow right to, uh, yep, right to the face. That'll do it. Let's see, hawk feathers? We don't know what they do. Death bell? Uh, I'm imagining death bell does something pretty, uh, yeah. Oh damn, that was uh, not a bad shot. And they are a conjurer rather than a necromancer, but... Uh, a similar practice. Okay, let's go check out those ingredients. Not that we'll be able to do anything with them this time. Another damage health. Very, very nice. Okay, and the other one was the hawk feathers. Cure disease. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll just get that little bit of health back. Actually, you know, this is just because uh, I want to try and up my restoration maybe a little bit. When it gets slightly better. Okay. This is move. So I think this one here was being, con well, maybe it wasn't being controlled because it was just necrom. It wasn't a necromancer, it was a conjurer. Okay. We're going to come back here and drop all those torches again. So let's just go. That, I don't think we're pretty much ever going to use a torch in this playthrough, and I apologize for that, just because um, obviously darkness is so important to us. Got a lot of water. We've got a soul gem. So that's the that's the little path that uh, she was walking along. We're not hearing anyone else. I'm actually really glad that uh, we did end the last episode when we did. Oh, fresh water. Excellent. It's just dripping down from the cavern above. And it has actually encumbered us filling up all of our water that way. So, wow, by quite a bit. Yeah, well, obviously water is heavy. That makes sense. Um, is there anything in here that we don't need? I think, yes, there is. Like, the merchant's clothes, I think we will hold on to them, because for an RP sense, I feel like it is nice to have something like that, but, um, yeah, I mean, everything else isn't actually weighing us down that much. There's probably some things under misc, like the firewood and the rest that we might be able to get rid of. Let's see. The linen wraps we don't really need to have. We can get those easily enough. Um, I don't know if we want to have so many animal bones as well. You know what? While we're here, let's see if we can scrimshaw. Now, I know that I took it off. Oh, no. No, oh, there we go. Okay, it's actually seven. No, we can scrimshaw. So, let's see if there is anything different that we can make at the moment. Hunter's bone arrows. Oh, you can, and you can make them in... Hmm. That's quite cool. Bone bow. Yeah, mammoth tusk, though. And uh, we're not going to come past a mammoth tusk easily. But elven, that is new. Bone axe. Okay. Um... I don't think there is anything... Yeah, there's nothing else here. Hmm. No, nothing we can really make there. Oh, severely fatigued. Yeah, that's not great. If that up there, if that is a kind of way through to another cell, we might actually try and sleep here. Um, because I feel like we have cleared out enough so far that we might feel comfortable sleeping. Maybe? Maybe? I tell you what, I'm actually really glad that we aren't having the the dead spawn in here, like the outside Manos is uh, dead, because that would be a very, that would be an added challenge that I think might make things a little bit too much. 
Uh, okay, back under misc. So we've got these large animal bones. They obviously weigh quite a bit. I think we are going to drop some of them now because they are just weighing us down too much. And that is going to give us the ability to move once again. So let us move. Okay. All right. Now we will see if this is going to move through or not. It's just a wooden door. Oh, do I feel safe sleeping here? No, I don't, but we can't sense any dead. We are severely fatigued and I feel like us pushing on would be very dangerous. So I think it might be time for us to put our rough bedding down and for Lucia to attempt to sleep, perhaps with one eye open because I imagine it would very much be like that. Okay, so let's see, rough bedding. Let's go ahead and place you right about, can we get you away from the wall, maybe? Just down by the water, not in it, but uh, well, I mean, that's kind of in it, but that shall do us for now, I believe. What is the time? It's 4 a.m. currently, so I think we are gonna try and sleep. Okay, good, we can actually sleep. So we'll try and sleep for eight hours because that will get us um, recovered. It's not going to be a rested sleep, that's for sure. Because uh, we went the whole night before without sleeping, so... So, I kind of almost imagine that uh, old Skaven would think that, well, Lucia might have gone. I mean, eight hours is a long time without uh, any of her minions being slain, but uh, we're gone. Merely getting our energy back. Juniper Berry Cross... Crostata? Cross... You cr missed it. Crostata. Imagine something like a croissant. Those were some of the pastries we found uh, on the unfortunate... Kev Kev Let me try that again. The unfortunate Khajiit Caravan. There we go. We got it out in the end. Okay. Let's approach slowly. Make sure that we are using instincts. And listing out for any trouble that might be inside and Damn it, yeah. Get the bow back out. Okay. Oh, no, we're okay. We are okay. This is our, um, our room. Our large room we've been through before, but this is the uh, top path, so that must be, uh, the... <laughs> that must be where the, the cell changes. But, hi. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That is absolutely brutal. I love that they have that up here. Where's the trap, though? Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Hi there. Let you come to me. We'll see if we can see it uh, in action. Oh, okay. Or not. You... Oh! <laughs> Holy <laughs> oh, it works. Um, we don't want that to happen to us. <laughs> we most certainly do not want that to happen to us. Um, where the hell did you go? So it's not, it's not an end. It's not a way to another room. He got knocked into another dimension. I think that's maybe him down there. Damn. And there are also flames in the center as well. If that uh, wasn't bad enough already, it is uh, worse. Okay. I don't know if he's alone or not. What I what I don't want to happen is to have us be kind of halfway and in a situation where we have to try and stand and fight with all this crap going on around us. So, we'll see if we can lure out any other dead ones. Oh, oh, yes, apparently we can. Let's back up. Let's back on up and not fall down. And just wait and see. It's quite hard to see through the, uh, through the fog there. I'm tempted to fire another arrow to see if we can draw it up here. Just want to hit the top. I don't know if we did hit the top there though. Might need to come out a little bit further. I'm just afraid of archers. If there is one. Hmm. Okay, they're losing us. Nothing. Okay. So whoever it is, they are. Not that close, it would seem. Now, we are going to be get, able to get these arrows back, so I'm okay with us using them. I can't see where that one's hitting, but it's definitely getting some kind of uh, attention. Oh, I see a shadow. Do you see that? It just darts past really quick. Let's fire another. 
Novice Necromancer. Okay, but we don't see them though. Where are they? Oh, here we go. I see you. Oh. Right in the chest. Okay. And you see that? It went away right away. So that makes me think that they were the only person that was hearing us. Now we cannot mess this up. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I thought we might have clipped it with our foot then. That's why I went forward by a little bit. Um, so this next bit here. I, just as bad. Just as bad. I don't know if we want to just try and run across. I think we do. Oh god. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's take a potion. We are... Oh. That, uh... Yeah, that burnt a lot more than I thought it was going to. And I actually want to just try and get our healing out right away. And see if we can do some of that. Okay. Put out the flames. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> a little hair-raising. Um, and probably a little hair-scorching as well. But Lucia has remained somewhat unburnt, though. So you were actually a necromancer, and it looks like you did have someone else risen down here. But it looks like that arrow was literally right to the heart, so it did the trick. Lesser ward? I believe we already know it. Um, yeah. So I don't think that is going to be any help to us, and I don't think we're going to be able to sell it on to anyone as well. Um, we will just double check that it is lesser ward that we have. It is lesser ward. Yeah, so... We will not be in need of that, thank you very much. And I am gonna kind of slowly come through here. What makes me nervous about this place is <laughs> we don't really have too much we can run back to. Yeah, there was no way I would have been able to do this in the last episode, in, in, in one episode. I would have, uh, <laughs> it would have been a very long episode otherwise. Okay, it's very, very quiet. Okay, I'm not smelling any dead. I guess it's kind of like a smell, kind of like a sense that we're getting of uh, the bodies when we're near them. Okay, stamina potion, we'll take. Just want to quickly check, uh, okay, because the last thing I want to do is pick something up and for us to be encumbered. Okay, what I want to do is see if we can move over there and just peek. I'm also super nervous about traps now, just because of the, the amount that we've seen. And we'll start moving a little slower. Because I feel like... I feel like they've given us this peak spot for a reason. Perhaps we need to see something through here. And have a warning. Of what's to come. <laughs> hmm... Okay, uh, we aren't actually going to take that. Hmm, yeah, we don't need to take that either. We already have some, uh, sil it's a silver amethyst ring though. You know what, we will take it just in case there are some people that are still willing to, uh, barter in this apocalyptic plane. Okay, we've got a throne. Let's, um, use our instincts again. Okay. That actually looks like someone's standing. Oh, hi. And we have a few, it would seem. Yeah. So, we can hit them when they're sleeping. Uh, as long as they're not in tombs, we can do that, so... We'll look at, uh... Trying to take him. Oh god. He's right above him. He's actually been detected by something, and I don't know how. Instincts again? Okay. Now... The, the, the funny thing is, is that he's obviously dead, but that's the same dead as before. So there's one here, and there's one up here as well. So let's, um, see if we can... Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Do the rollback. Where's your voice at? You gonna call at me? Well, she didn't. I could not oh. raise him, but I will raise an army to avenge his defilement. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I haven't. I I don't know the story. I've never seen it in Skyrim before, and it, it, it's creepily like Manos's. Um. Okay. I'm guessing she's going to raise them when we get closer. So. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and draw them out. Move back one more. We're going to fire just right here. And get their attention. There we go. That one in the head. We just want that last one from over that side to come out. There he is. I saw his foot. But there he is. Oh shoot. Turn around. Go see the other arrow. Yeah. It's good enough. We're actually slightly off to the right hand side, but it was enough to uh, make contact. Oh yeah. Oh, and there is one more. So, let's try and figure out where that one is. I can actually hear it walking. We can't see it. Ah, oh, there you are. Just as he was about to notice us, and there's someone else here. Ah, another droga. Can't really see it though. There we go. We got some more. Ah, there. I think it's an archer. No, it's not. Okay, I think that's all of them. I think. Let's just move around. Check all these spaces. Guessing this is somewhere for them to sit and um, observe the dead. Possibly. Okay, I'm so nervous about traps. So that's the one that we shot in the chest. We killed them before we could come back. Thankfully. And that one we actually missed, so take that back. Take the garnet. Okay. Alright. They are, they're like the garnets here, don't they? Are you just... Really? Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, they are different. Love the shadows. Okay. I thought that was a trap then. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Awesome little shadows. Okay, looks like we are kind of at the end of the space. I believe we need to do something there. Oh god. And look at look at the traps on the side as well. That's uh that's not cool. Oh, unless we do continue this way. I think we do. But what is that? It's uh it's like an iron cuirass of some kind. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh, Oh. That's a thing. That's a thing. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we're alive. Lucia is uh is quick enough that uh she made it around that. Now, this would have to be amazing to make me want to grab it. It's just straight up iron armor. I ain't going to do that. No way. I should have seen the spikes on the ceiling. This is why I this is why looking up is just as important. Yeah. That's a that's a telltale sign that something is amiss. We're gonna go right around, making sure the instincts are selected because we can hear one breathing. Is that just one breathing? Sounds like he's close. He is. He's right there. I'm not seeing any others by him. Okay, here we go. Okay. Luckily that was a flick shot. <laughs> because he had seen something. He probably saw our shadow. And then decided he wanted to attack us. But alas, he was too slow. Oh, don't roll too quickly. Take our arrow back. 22. It's starting to get lower. Okay, but we do still have the poisons for us to work with. I really think we need these poisons for, for her. 
I don't know how tough she's going to be because this is the thing like obviously not having armor um, does impact you a lot in this this is why we're able to kill so many of these so easily with a bow well for one because obviously when you're sneaking the damage is doubled um, but also they're not very heavily armored especially the the mages so if we can catch them unawares we can do some serious damage and I imagine she will be pretty tough but I just don't know how tough I don't have a gauge this, this will give us an idea of what to expect with Manos and White Run. I don't know why I'm taking all the stamina potions actually, we don't really need them. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright, just linen wraps. This place is so much bigger. So much bigger than I thought. And I'm whispering now because it's gone all quiet and... When it goes quiet like that, it gets me super flippin' nervous. This area is very well lit. Oh, I love... That's, that's what I think sometimes. Sound design in games, you need to allow for silence sometimes. Because silence can be just as airy as creepy noises. <sighs> That looks like a way through. What does that mean for us? Does it mean... Oh no, it's not. It's still a door. I keep thinking that there's like another... That we'll be going through another cell. And because the thing that, that makes me nervous about going through cells is that you just... There is that second when you open the door where you can't do anything. And uh, obviously with Sigrun, we had an issue with that. And I really don't want the same thing for Lucia. Okay, let's um, let's just listen. It sounds okay. Now, which way do the doors open? Are they going to hit me in the face? No, they're not. Okay. Anybody home? Maybe. Oh, there are so many flame vials. But... You have to ask me. I th I feel like there's going to be a lot of dead in those. Surely. Okay. There's someone or something dead on the floor. Drogo. Skeleton. We haven't seen any skeletons yet. Okay, we need to make sure that there are no chance that there's going to be archers above us. There's a chest up there, which leads me to believe there is a way up there. I don't think jumping is the right course, but maybe. Maybe we could actually jump on that. Let's have a look, eh? See if we can get on top of this. And then... Uh, not easily. Quietly jump. Okay. Easy now. I think that's a little too high for us to be able to jump to. Oh, we're close though. Oh, this stairs right there. What am I doing? Because what I'm trying to do is get to an elevated position where we have a better chance to hide. Because I can't, I can't see her, but this, this feels like, I mean, look, there's some kind of ceremonial table of sorts. I think what I want to do, because uh, we can back up here. What I want to do is look at chucking down our trap right about here to give us something to fall back to. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can shoot that Draugr that's on the ground. Because, for one, it'll alert anything that's nearby. And if there's a chance it can come back, we'll find out. Mm, didn't sound like it hit him, did it? A little lower this time. That hit him, okay. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. They oh god. Burned his body before I could raise him. Oh it god. should have been returned to me. Oh. You will not stop me from killing those who That's wage her. this pointless war. All right. I'm going to I'm going to deadpool this. I'm not going to let her to finish uh finish her little speech. You will not stop me from killing those who wage this pointless war. Yeah. Okay. Need to make it count. Make it count, make it count, make it count. Oh, I can't see her. Damn it. Come on, where is she? I know. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, that was a lot worse than I thought it could ever be. <laughs> uh, We need to go invisible. We need to get away. I think we just lost our invisibility, though. Oh, because we did a... God... Yes, I do. If I can get away, I do stand a chance. We need stamina. That's what we got all those stamina potions for. Okay, we need to run. Okay, this isn't about being... Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if we can catch you on that. Yep. Okay, well, you need to catch me first. Oh, oh, you've caught me. You've caught me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. More healing potions. More running. We need to get away. Okay, that's where we're going. I hope you're ready. Okay. Oh, on fire. Did we? Oh. Just like her husband. Blinded by her desire, by her rage. She chases us and is burnt by those same flames. Oh, okay. Now, that is not how I wanted that to go down. I was hoping that a well-placed arrow with poison on would do the job. And it might have. However, I was not expecting Droga with the ability to shout. That's something that Lucia has never seen before. Let us drop down. So, not only did she get clipped by the swinging trap, she also got caught heavily in the flames. No more, I'll escape him. Staff of the Familiar. We'll take it. And we'll take the key. And, to be sure... She won't be coming back now. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's check this chest now that we have a key. Nope. No luck for us. Okay. We need to get that bow back out. And my heart can stop racing a million miles a second. So, <laughs> running away isn't always the, you know, the wrong option. Sometimes a retreat can be good, especially when your enemy is blinded by their own rage, so that they forget about the traps that have been laid. I think I've actually just come the wrong way, and I believe I have. Yes. No? Hmm. No, this has got to be the right way, surely. Yes, because it's on the other side, yeah. It is the right way. Okay. We need to work our way back up, but there is still a high chance that those others are still around. I don't think that they will be Ash, because I don't think she just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she rose them that way. Well, more water for us. And we are going to stay hidden for now, like this, just sneaking through here, because we are obviously quite nervous but that was quite a way for her to fall uh, but this I'm obviously still nervous about this as well and <laughs> we're not going to cheese but I am going to quick save because I do not want to fight her again I think we can actually jump this I think it's possible 
Okay, not possible. Okay, okay, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. But we need to take any other potions that we have because we might still be suffering from... Uh, yeah, there, there's a high chance we could still be suffering from damage over time. However, I don't think we have anything that's going to help us out there. The only thing I can think of doing is actually swapping out to our magic and trying to heal ourselves with restoration. But we also need to make sure that we're clear of the other stuff. And that we are. Okay. Too many moments <laughs> like this today, right? Yeah, I, I guess I'm not the only one that's feeling heart pains. <laughs> from all these close calls. Too many. Just too many. But now at least Skaven is no more. However, Lucia still has a lot to learn. I mean, I felt like we had a shot there. I should have taken it, but I was too hesitant. I think she was feeling the weight of responsibility too heavily and didn't want to take it. And I don't think she sympathizes as well, because it's the very same notion that drove Manos to do the things that he did. And perhaps he served as an example for Skaven. Maybe it was the same circumstance. You know, it had obviously happened a long time ago in her life. And she'd been pursuing this for some time. So perhaps seeing Manos attempting to do just the same thing, yet failing, she tried to find another way. Okay. Are they all dead? Because I'm seeing ghosts. They're reunited. Ah. Uh, okay. You know what? I feel like this is a, a good time for us to become level 10. And we will actually level up now. Um, we are going to go into health. Because we just need a little bit more survivability. Because right now, we don't have a hell of a lot of it. Uh, we might want to look at putting some points into light armor. It is so tempting to continue down the... This tree. The sneak tree. Hmm. Tempting. Means we could potentially wear heavier things, but, uh, hmm. hmm. Right behind you. Now, that could be really quite helpful for us. But that's in our, that's in their blind spot. Whiplash, that's pretty tempting, because it reduces armor by a lot. So that means if we've got heavy opponents, we could really, because the thing is, I don't seem to use tripwire enough. That would be very nice. Hmm. I don't think spot detection is uh, what we're after. And unfortunately, we haven't done enough lockpicking to really get too far along here. Because the bear traps obviously would be nice. A little easier for us to place. And they stay around, you know? We can place two at one time. Two points of damage per lockpicking level. I mean, that could be pretty good. And it should slow them down. Gone in 15 seconds. Hmm. Okay. Um, alright, no, let's make our way out of the lockpicking tree for now. So, it's definitely going to be between sneak and between archery. Uh, the archery tree we haven't actually done too much with right now. We've gone for two points here, so I think we do need to go for the next one. So, our options are... Wing strike, which I don't think we're going to do. We're not going to melee strike anyone. Steady hands, pressing block while aiming will zoom in your view. That is tempting clean kill. Bows and crossbows do 20% more damage to targets at full health. That's really tempting. And long shot. Bows and crossbows deal up to 40% more damage to targets beyond 50 feet. The damage bonus increase as distance increases. See, that's pretty tempting because we do do those long shots. Do do. Yes, we do do. Um, but I feel like because those are both like ones that we're going to level up over time, I think getting clean kill for now is probably going to be what we want. 
there are so many things that I want to get. I don't think I'm going to be out of ideas for what we want to get. Um, I am going to take this very, very carefully still, though, because um, I just uh, I don't want there to be a chance of something terrible happening. I'd like to believe that uh, they are going to be all friendly to us now. Was that Search Hold Gear? Holy shit, that's his body. Hold Gear was the the one she was trying to raise, and I'm guessing these are his burnt remains, so to speak. If we didn't have those stamina potions, we would have actually been uh, pretty screwed. Um, we are going to go talk to them, but I just want to... Oh, we've been detected. So it means that they probably aren't hostile. I think we will look at approaching. We learn to just take what we can while we move up there. That's the two of them. Oh. Now we can rest in peace once again. Come, Fury, my love. Oh. Take this with our gratitude. Fury and Holgear. The ones from the story, right? So not her. Oh, holy crap. What is... What is that? Well, we're just going to search the drawer real quick. I am going to I am going to go and see what that is. I don't know what it is cuz like I said I haven't done this before. I've never done this one. Um we'll take the gem. Ghost blade. Ghost blade. We're carrying too much and cannot run. The ghost blade is too heavy for us. Uh let's just go get rid of some misc things then. Um we are going to get rid of these Goat horns. Uh, we will drop off some more animal bones as well. Let us inspect Ghost Blade. Three points of extra damage. Ignore armor. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I think having that over the oh god, it's cool though, right? That is very cool. Ignoring armor. That is nice. So does it ignore... Do, okay, so three points of extra dam damage ignores the armor. So I'm just trying to figure out how good that is. Because, I mean, 12 damage, that's like so-so. But that's also because we aren't very skilled with um, blades. If we did some more work with it, we could get to be pretty damn good. Yeah, it might be what we use to try and carve out... Uh, or uh, remove some of the dead from the world. The daggers are obviously quite good as well, but um, I don't know. Ghost blade, it's pretty nice. I don't know if you could get this ghost blade effect on a dagger, per se. Um, you could probably take the effect off of the enchanting table, possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'd like to know what you all think about that, what we would do with ghost blade. I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> I'm very happy to be alive right now. Uh, and we need to make sure we stay that way. We aren't out of the woods yet. We are we are getting quite late in the episode, but I'm not going to end it here. We are going to get out of here still. And so we shall try to do just that. Yeah, so that's the old hero. That's the hero of old, so yeah. Yes, I, I remember the story now. I do. Okay. Oh, we can just open this one. Scroll of Harmony. I should have read it. I should have read it. Let's see. It's going to be under books. No, not books. Scrolls. Scroll of Harmony. Creatures and people up to level 12 nearby won't fight for 60 seconds. That, and that could really save our life. That could have been what we needed back then. Oh, we have, we've got some strange things happening still with our... our First person, third person-ness. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Okay, let's get that bow back out, because uh, I want to be certain that we aren't... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for ruining the mood. <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's a different kind of mood, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we'll take that off. We'll take it off. Okay. We'll leave it off for now. <laughs> Oh god, that still needs to be fixed. It really does. Okay, um, I'm guessing we have the key for the lock, and we also have a nice looking boss chest. Oh, so this is where she was staying. 
This is where she was living. And I imagine this is where we might stay before we go. We're going to go through all of these um, and see what we have. Don't worry, I have seen the moss chest. I will not be leaving it behind. Let's see what we have. Kunja Familiar. Now, I think that might be, you know, more her speed. However, for us to do that, uh, she still probably won't be able to do that. Target won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. Would be good if we were to be using companions, etc. But uh, companions would die very quickly in this series just because of the dead. So let's have a read through the books all the same. And courage. And let's see if we can conjure a familiar. So imagine, imagine Lucia reading through the book and uh, wanting to call something forward, something that might be able to protect her. However, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. We don't have the Magicka to be able to do that. It's 142, and we have... Not even close. Not even close. Uh, it would take us a while to get to that. Um, yeah, at least another four levels before we were able to do anything like that. But it might be worthwhile trying to get up to the point where we can bring forth a familiar of some kind to help protect her from the horrors of this world. I mean, she is very much alone without anyone else here to guide her. But for someone who is alone, she seems to be doing a pretty fantastic job. Let's take that and let's take the book as well. This was a favorite of um, her would-be father's. Transmute mineral ore. See. That's a good one. Iron ore to silver. We are going to need a lot of silver in this playthrough. We'll take the dragon's tongue as well. And I believe we will just straight up eat that. Resist fire. And that makes sense. Let's read Imperial Condolences. Imperial Citizen. Lua Alskaven. It is with our deepest regret that I must inform you of the death of your husband, Sail. He laid down his life in battle, helping retake the Imperial City from the Aldemary. He showed great courage in his final hour, and his sacrifice will not be in vain. All considered him a man of high moral standing, and a shining example of the best the Empire has to offer. In this hour of your grief, please take some solace in the fact that he gave up his life protecting the Empire, which he held so dear. I hope that's not just a, a generic... Um, letter that they send out i kind of feel like it would be to a degree but also yeah it kind of means that all well, everything that she's done afterwards has kind of belittled his death unfortunately and it looks like we have something funky down there uh just novice roads of con novice robes of conjuration uh which i believe i would be on board us taking frost salts oh yeah okay and i think we will actually just use the frost salts Give him a taste. Yeah. Weakness to fire. That makes sense. It kind of goes along with the uh, fire salts with the weakness to frost. It seems to be like an opposing thing. We are going to take those robes and we are just going to uh, go over to the enchanter's table. See if we can just take that enchantment off them. We die by falling now. That would just be the worst. The absolute worst. Okay, let's see. Um, alright, what do we want to take off? Oh, that's actually an enchantment. Interesting. Huh. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and learn that. Okay, thank you. Alright, um, nullification. That could be nice for us to take. Minor restoration. See, I don't think we're actually using those rings at the moment, so I feel like it would be good us, um learning those enchantments so let's do it okay thank you and i don't think we can actually do much at the moment fortify conjuration and magic a region fortify restoration and resist magic all right let's leave that behind okay well i hope they finally have found their rest they have been released from Lures enthralling. Free to move on. Okay, so let's get out of this damn place. And we've actually survived it. Well, 
we're not out yet, so <laughs> I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but we've uh, we've done what I didn't think... Going into here, with how afraid everyone was, I didn't think it would be a task that we'd be able to do easily. And we certainly didn't do it easily, but uh, we did it. Still makes me a little nervous here, though. Don't think our Skaven has used this for all. Yes, yeah, so that's um, the spiders that we saw at the start. Now, I, I, I'm like semi-afraid that they might hatch now that we're on our way out. Because that would be the worst. So let's have our bow ready. I might actually just try and shoot some of those eggs. Just so we can see whether or not anything's going to happen. Nope. I think we're okay. So let's look at jumping on down. Okay. We're all right. I think we've done it. I think we've actually done it. So we're going to head on out of this sucker. Um, I don't know if we need any of our extra bits and pieces that we left behind. The meat, etc. We're going to be able to find more of more than enough out there. Let's have a look food wise. We've still got more than enough food on us. We still have more raw venison as well. We are going to be fine. But we also need to step outside and we know that's where some of the dead were. We managed to barricade the outside, the, the, uh, brother, the inside to stop them coming out and when we go out we know that, well, nothing else is going to be coming out of here. We survived. Lucia is more than just a survivor now. She is the witch hunter. Yeah, the hunter of necromancers and mages alike, we didn't. And I believe a part of Manos now knows the true threat of Lucia. She isn't just some girl hiding in a cave, she is a hunter now. And she's proven this here by taking down Lua Alskaven, a pretty powerful necromancer in her own right. Now, she didn't do it with her strength. She didn't do it with her agility, she did it with her smarts, using the traps around her, using her enemy's rage. It's what we will need to do to beat Manostrafil, for he is no normal enemy. Lucia is not to be underestimated, I believe now more than ever, and I believe that Manos will react in this in his own way. We must be cautious in the wilds, for the dead are coming. Guys and gals, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>